If my bases are three-starred with random strategies, Exorcist of Pride Gaming will win $1,000. He has competed in the World Championship Finals with, in my opinion, the best celebrations in the pro scene. As ever with these challenges, I sent Exorcist my bases, but with Scout View enabled. He can choose any of my six war bases for each strategy, and for every three-star, he wins $250 with a grand prize of 1,000 for three-starring all three bases. But let's see what his first attack will be. I've got a couple of fun and you could say trolley strategies in here, but I tried to keep it realistic. It is the Electro Dragons. He has selected base number three. Let's keep my clan castle troops with the super minions and rocket balloons. And whilst he scouts, let's have a quick word from our video sponsor. Thank you to Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring today's video. The Galaxy Battles Superverse event took place just a couple of days ago where myself and other creators were paired up with qualifying players from Clash of Clans, Clash Royale and Brawl Stars. The finals had a prize pool of $100,000. It was an absolute blast. I live streamed the entire thing on my channel which I'll pop a link to in the description but it was all powered by the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. It is a folding phone with a 7.6 six inch interior display so you can maximize your gaming on the go. It has dual app capabilities where you can run up to three applications at the same time because Supercell games are optimized for this device. The Galaxy range also features the S9 Plus tablet which has a 12.4 inch AMOLED display, high resolution front facing camera and Wi-Fi or 5G capabilities. If you do want to find out more and even purchase the Galaxy Z Fold 5, I have links in the description for that and the Superverse stream Thanks again to Samsung for sponsoring today's video. Exorcist is going to share his plan of attack, so let's hear what he's going to do. My plan is to use the blimp from 6 o'clock, land on the monolith, maybe even get the tunnel. If not, it's not a problem. Then use the queen charge from the left corner, going up, wall break at the expo, and then just send the e-dragons in between to the core to get the multis and the CC. The king just to support at 12 o'clock and the RC back end wherever needed. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Best of luck. He's in. Here we go. The bulk of the army does have to be Electro Dragons, and he is using a Queen Charge to supplement this. So Archer Queen in from the west, Battle Blimp flying in from the south, using a Rage Spell over the top balloons. One Electro Dragon in the CC as well to instantly pop off the Monolith alongside the Rage. Can he get the Town Hall? He's popped the... Oh, he's turning it invisible! <laughs> Man, that was epic. With just that clan castle, he got the monolith and the town hall. Now I do have the super minions in the clan castle, so he does have to be very careful with that, but he defended it fantastically. To be honest, it was just whatever I had left over. We've got a Valkyrie just setting up the funnel for the Archer Queen up there. Good spread on the Electro Dragons down towards the bottom of the base. And I have grounded Expos. Yeah, my sweepers are pointing up. This is not an ideal base for Electro Dragons. He picked the right one, but I do just copy my bases. This one being a diamond base and it's looking good for him. Let's just put it that way as his queen charges in towards that multi target Inferno. Eagle firing at the Electro Dragons. They're taking a lot of damage at the bottom there. The Archer Queen is down, so he's had to send in the Royal Champion up top. He's got the King ability, the Royal Champion ability. He's got a Headhunter for the defending RC, but his Electro Dragons have gone down. Can he get this? Oh my goodness. And he's still got the RC ability. He has to perfectly time this and the Headhunter. What is happening? I'm trying to look across at his webcam. He is dialed in right now. RC ability goes off. He might just get it. What a nerve he start. Ooh, defending RC. It's on Diggy. Come on, go to Diggy. Ah, oh, his royal champion goes down, but Diggy is still there. 42 seconds. Oh my goodness. Eagle firing in. Air skellies. Diggy is on the Eagle. 40 seconds. Oh, I think he's got it. I just looked across. Seen his webcam. I did say at the start of the video, I love his celebrations. <laughs> That one was maybe a bit too close for comfort, but $250 for this first 
three-star attack. A good start. Let's see what he has for the second base. Oh, I'm interested on this one, especially with how close the E-Drags got. And it is the Super Hog Riders. He is requesting base number five. All right, so here I'll start the Queen Charge at six o'clock, walk to the right and into the scatter shot and use the Blim to get the Monolith and the Eagle Artillery. And then later on, connect my Queen Charge to the Dead Zone with a jump to the Town Hall. So I get that one and then just send my super hoggies in from nine o'clock to the scatter and the queen and the king just at three o'clock to support the queen he is in here we go it is the twin hog riders i love this strategy i figured it might have been so the idea is queen charging a heavy area of the base using the hogs to push through a secondary area and the regular hog riders to create pathing for the super hogs and keep them on the inside of the base or at least that's how i play the strategy so he's got the queen charge at the six o'clock area looking to wall break potentially into the expo and scattershot compartment with the blim raging that up with with yetis inside maybe we've got a balloon and yes the yetis onto the monolith he's figured out that i'm keeping that clan castle is he going to get the eagle here he does very nice blimp value with the yeti and the baby dragon on the right hand side sets up the funnel for him to dive directly in towards the expo and the scatter shot saw that the rocket balloons and the super minions had slowed down so was able to just use the poison very well controlled queen charge at the moment no more wall breakers so he is using the king to the right side. Queen can take the jump straight to the town hall. He's got to be careful with the invisibility spell tower. Now he could freeze it or he could probably just let it go off. It's here come the hog riders with the royal champion right in the middle. There's the hog riders to the left hand side as well. Just helping path the super hog riders direct through the base. Queen onto that town hall. There's a giant bomb on the outside. Why do I have a giant bomb on the outside of my base? So he does have to send in a couple of other hog riders but a nice use of the warden ability protects all of the super hogs. This is dangerous. All of his super hogs are going down. The archer queen in the invisibility moving in. Super hogs another giant Giant bomb. I don't think he was expecting that. Two balloons for the outside of the base. Stiggy stuns the expo. No way. His queen still has ability. He's celebrating. I can see him in my peripheral vision. I thought I was going to defend with the giant bombs on the hog riders. <laughs> He is too good. Maybe I should have put some more troll style strategies in the spinner, but I did want to make it realistic. $500, the next attack gets him the grand prize. So let's see what he gets. Here we go then, the final attack, and he gets the Lava Loon, a true pro strategy, but not easy in the current meta. Base number six it is. Right here we have this really annoying Legends base. I'm sure some of you guys already have faced this in Legends League. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I will zap the uh, ground ball, the warden, and the multi inferno tower, and then use the flame flinger from three o'clock just to clear out the outside buildings. Start my queen, then at four, wall break into the bomb tower, and then later on to the getter shot. My king just six to support, get maybe some defenses down there, and then just spam the Lalo in from nine o'clock to get the eagle, the ground balls, and the monolith, and then I see just back into cleanup. Spam Lalo, you're taking after me. <laughs> Lava Loon is the pro's strategy, but it's very difficult to pull off. One mistake and it's history. He's in. Come on, Exorcist. I want to see big celebrations here, my friend. Lightning spells. <gasps> the Zap Queen Charge Lalo. You always do things to the next level, my friend. Starting with the Flame Flinger. Uses the lightning spell to get the multi-target Inferno there and the Expo. I literally just copied this base a couple of days ago. <laughs> Let's see how it holds up with my rocket loons flying out there is the poison spell on top of that super minions firing at the queen but i think he's good at this stage the expo locks onto the queen but that's good for his flinger that is what he wanted wall break in and he can get rid of the king and queen what's going on at the bottom here sneaky goblins pop the tesla so he takes that out with the headhunter for the barbarian king sending another good timing there alongside the ridge because they will be lining across towards the enemy archer queen and she is down in a flash. He protects his Archer Queen ability. And what's going to happen here? Where is my base going? I, I don't even know if he can fail at this stage. That wall break was next level. It takes him in towards the multi, the town hall, the scatter shot. Look at this flame flame.
flinger. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen a headhunter in that flame flinger. It would have got the royal champion down straight away. But it is the titan which should be able to finish it off. Barbarian king stuck on the wall. The attacking arch queen should be able to get the town hall now with the Lalo moving in. We've got one minute left. Is time the determining factor? No way. Do not tell me that he misses out on this because of time. He's looking very focused. He uses that warden ability. He wants the town hall down before the balloons get there. And that should be the case. He's still got queen ability and royal champion. Send the royal champion in buddy he's good he's got a minute left oh the sweeper wait a second wait a second the balloons are in the poison the sweeper is pushing the balloons back is he going to use it oh she she does indeed use it Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. That was too easy. I think if we do this again, we need some more troll style armies. Let's put it that way. But show some love for Exorcist. He does have to use that Royal Champion, so he doesn't time fail $1,000. And if you want to see the previous Judo Sloth challenge using just one spell, I have that linked on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.